So here's part two of your uh, project folder and how I'm asking you to set it up in dropbox.com. Uh, just, uh, you know, I showed you what it looks like and what, I'm, uh, what it will look like through the term and some various ways to track it. And basically, in order to uh, get this process started, all you're going to need to do is accept my invitation. I'm going to send you an invitation to the folders that I have set up here. Um, again, I'm going to open this just to show you what I'm talking about. So, uh, whoops, here we go. Here's um, binary five, and so here's the project folders. And so, for example, uh, here is um, Michael. I am going to uh, share this folder with um, him, and in order to do that, I'll have to do it online. So anyway, I'll get his email, and I will um, do that for each of you guys, and you'll receive an invitation to uh, join this uh, folder, um, which will give you access to this folder on your desktop, and, um, and also in the same folder I will have access to on my desktop. This is cloud computing at its finest. I will not be able to access any of the other folders that you have on your desktop. Anything that you sh that you have not shared with me, I will not be able to see just the one that you shared with me and vice versa. So uh, that is how that works. And so basically accept just and uh, if you have a Dropbox account you'll just sign on into it and this folder will now appear as part of your uh, lineup. If you uh, don't have an account you'll just need to sign up for it. It's, it's um, it's free, um, and they will not sell your information. They um, they are very adamant about that. Um, I use it for everything. A number of colleagues and friends across the nation do. We've never had their information, our information sold. They have, uh, I guess, they make their money basically by uh, by getting us hooked, and then we end up buying uh, more space, which is what I've done. So I can use it primarily. Because the other cool thing about this is that um, not only is it available on my desktop. Um, and uh, of, of folders that I can share with you, but it's also available anywhere where there's an internet connection. Uh, so um, I, I can, I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Um, but basically, yeah, do that, accept, and then watch this video lecture, the one that I'm talking to you about right now, which I will put the link for right here as soon as it's finished and available. And then when you uh, have a faculty advisor set up and have begun working with this person, you'll um, share then uh, your folder, your project folders with them in preparation for that term's work. Um, in the sign up folder, um, in that in that little message, here's a here's a version of what you could send to your faculty advisor, dear Dr. So and so. I'm sharing this folder uh, with you as a way to organize the work I'll be doing for English 595 this term. If you accept, you'll get access to this folder and be able to add new items and change any docs with it just as you would any folder on your own hard drive. If you're already using Dropbox, this shared folder will appear alongside all your others. You can access it any place you have an internet connection. This sign-up is free, and they promise not to share your info with anyone. Dr. Carter and others in the department have used Dropbox almost exclusively for the last few years and have not had any problems with, with it or spam. If you're not already a Dropbox user and would prefer not to sign up, just ignore this invitation. When I'm ready with each item, I will just upload them here and simply share a link with you via email, which will take you directly to my document, regardless of whether or not you have a Dropbox account. The only difference is if you do not accept my invitation, you won't be able to add anything to the folder. You can just send information to the attachment as via email as we would in, in any other kind of exchange. Thank you for agreeing to work with me this term. I'm looking forward to it. So see, basically, they don't have to accept. Um, and you, they can still share. It's just be easier if they do. But you and I have to have a shared folder for this to work. And so that's what I'm asking you to do. Um, I will uh, stop here. And in the third and final segment, I'm going to work you through the status reports, and um, which is which will provides, provides a nice overview of how the course is set up that will complement and supplement what Susan has um, provided for you previously.